When working with others on a project or an initiative, you need to share a lot of information with each other. Meeting minutes, research, action items, and so on. A great way to keep everyone on the same page is by using a shared notebook in OneNote. In this video, you'll learn how to share a notebook with others. You'll learn how to access your notes from anywhere and how to stay up to date to changes others might have made to the notebook. Let me show you. Here I have a notebook that I've created for a company event we're planning. Since we're multiple people working on planning this event, I want to share this notebook. To share a notebook, click the File tab and then Share. Before you can share a notebook, you first need to make sure that it's saved in a place where it's accessible to others, like for example OneDrive, which is an online cloud-based file sharing service provided by Microsoft, or SharePoint, which is a company collaboration platform. Hi, I'm so sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to let you know that if you're annoyed by the ads in this video, you can access our tutorials ad-free by getting a subscription to businessproductivity.com or signing up for one of our many courses on platforms such as Udemy, CyberU, and Vimeo On Demand. I also wanted to take this opportunity to tell you a bit more about Storials. Storials, which stands for Story-Based Tutorials, is our video package offering for organizations that want to increase employee productivity using Office 365. With Storials, organizations can inspire, motivate, and educate users on effective use of Office 365 by showcasing real-life best practices. Finally, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channels, Business Productivity and Storials. Here you will also find my video blog, Succeed in the Digital Workplace, as well as other videos that can help you increase your productivity. If you have any questions or comments, please post them here and I'll do my very best to get back to you. With that, let's go back to the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Here I can see the link to where the notebook is stored. This notebook is saved to my OneDrive business account. In our organization, we can share information with external business partners using OneDrive. Make sure you know what the policies and requirements are in your organization to share company information internally and externally. Type in the email addresses of the people you want to share the notebook with. I'll add two of my colleagues, Nora and Jacob. Click the drop-down next to the other C field to set the permission level. Here you can decide if the invited participants should have editing rights to the notebook or just viewing rights. I'll leave the default which is editing rights since I want all of us to collaborate on the contents of the notebook. I'll type in a personal message and then click share. An email is sent with a link to the notebook to all addressees. On the Share tab, you can easily see who you've shared the notebook with. At any point in time, you can add or remove people and change permissions. To remove a user or change their permission, right-click the user and select Remove User or select Change Permission. To go back to the notebook, click the back arrow. Let's switch over to Nora to see what this looks like for her. Nora is accessing her email via the browser through Office 365. Here is the email with a link to the shared notebook. To open the notebook, she just clicks on the link. The notebook opens up in OneNote Online. OneNote Online is a web application provided by Microsoft free of charge to enable anyone to access and collaborate on OneNote notebooks from anywhere. You don't have the same rich editing experience as in the desktop version of OneNote, but you can still perform a number of actions. Nora navigates to the page with recommended keynote speakers and starts adding some of her own suggestions to the list. You never have to worry about saving your changes when you're using Office Online, since your changes are saved automatically. Let's switch back to my PC again. I want to send an email to a business partner called Ariel with a link to the notebook we're using to plan the event. She will not actively be participating in the planning, so she doesn't need editing rights, but I want her to be able to read what we share in the notebook. To share a notebook with someone without requiring them to authenticate themselves, click the File tab and then Share, and then get a sharing link. 
Here you can decide if you want the person to just have viewing rights or if you want them to have editing rights. If you provide editing rights to someone using a sharing link, you won't be able to see the name of the person who has done the changes since they won't be authenticated. Since I want to share a viewing link, I'll click Create Link where it says View Link. I'll copy the link and then paste it into my email to Ariel and send off the email. Let's switch over to Ariel to see what this looks like for her. Ariel receives the email to her Gmail account. From here she can click the link to open up the notebook. Since she doesn't have to log in to authenticate herself, OneNote just treats her as a guest reader. She has no ability to edit the notebook, all the editing menus are removed, but she can freely browse the notebook to stay up to date on all the changes that are made. Now let's switch over to my PC again. I can see a little green turning circle that indicates that the changes that have been made to the notebook are synchronizing to my PC. As soon as someone makes any change, my notebook is synchronized. You can also force synchronization by right-clicking the notebook and selecting Sync this notebook now. To see the status of the synchronization, right-click and select Notebook Sync Status. Here I can see the status of all my notebooks. When all changes have been synchronized, you will see the message Up to Date next to the notebook. I'll close down this window to look at the changes. All sections and pages that have been changed are highlighted and bold. Here I can see that Nora has added some more names to the recommended keynote speaker list. All changes are highlighted in green. I can also see Nora's initials next to the text and if I hover over her initials I can see when the modifications were made. I'll go to the next section called Dubai that's also in bold and go to the page named Atlantis. Here I can see changes made by Jacob. To get a good overview of all the changes made to a notebook, click the History tab and then Recent Edits. Here you can select the time frame. I'll select Today. The Search Result panel opens up. You can select how you want the changes sorted, by location in the notebook, by date or by author. I'll leave the default which is by date. In the search pane, I get a summary of all the pages that have been modified and I can easily step through them one by one. To remove the green highlighting, on the History tab, click Mark as Red. Here you can select between marking the page as red or marking the whole notebook as red, removing all green highlighting in bold page and section titles. Only the initials of the authors remain. If you want to hide the initials, on the History tab, Click Hide Authors. I'll close down the search pane with the recent edits. When you're collaborating on a notebook, you don't have to worry about logging out of the notebook before someone else can make changes. Everyone can make changes at the same time. Here, for instance, I can see that both Jacob and Nora are adding text to the same page. Being able to co-author notes together in real time is extremely powerful and can be beneficial in a number of different scenarios. Once I'm up to date with all of their changes, I'll click Mark as Red to remove the green highlighting. If multiple people are working on the same notebook, there might be occasions where you want to go back and see what the initial page looked like before any changes were made. Here I'd like to see if any names have been removed from the initial list of speakers I added. To see previous versions of a page, click the History tab and then Page Versions. You will see sub-pages of the current page marked with dates. Every time someone makes changes to a page, a new sub-page is created. To see the original page, click the sub-page at the very bottom. Here I can see the original page I created with a list of speakers. To restore a previous version of a page, right-click and select Restore Version. You can also make a copy of the page if you want to keep both versions. Here I just wanted to see if any names had been taken off the list, but all names remain. To only show one version of the page again, click Page Versions. Now I want to share a snapshot of the notebook with a potential vendor. I don't want to give continuous access to the notebook since I don't know if we'll be working with a vendor or not. 
To export a snapshot of your notebook to, for example, a PDF file, click the File tab and then Export. Select what you want to export, a single page, a section, or the entire notebook. Here I'll select the entire notebook. Then select which format you want to export the notebook to. Here I'll select PDF. And then click Export. Your notebook is converted into a PDF document with multiple pages. Now you can easily share the PDF document with others. I'll add the PDF file as an attachment to my email and send it off. As I hope you've seen, sharing a notebook with others using OneNote is extremely flexible. You can share notebooks in a number of different ways to make sure everyone stays up to date on the information they need. Thank you.